About two decades ago, China created the first shock to manufacturers in many countries worldwide. At that time, many in the US and Europe collapsed due to the devastation of the storm of cheap goods from China. According to Breitbart, this storm caused thousands of workers to lose their jobs when the factories they worked for could not compete with China's extremely cheap labor and meager management costs. The Chinese regime is trying to create a second shock. Still, they are at a disadvantage when the global market is unstable due to the Russia-Ukraine war and the lingering negative impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Besides, countries are looking for ways to reduce their dependence on supply chains with China's presence. But the biggest obstacle for Beijing right now may be that cheap products made in China are facing unexpected opposition from the US, the EU, and even developing countries such as Brazil and Chile. The Wall Street Journal, WSJ, reported that emerging economies are worried about China dumping large amounts of steel, ceramics, and chemicals into their markets. WSJ added that India has opened anti-dumping investigations on everything from Chinese-made bolts and screws to glass mirrors and vacuum-insulated flasks. Meanwhile, Argentina is investigating Chinese elevators, and the UK is scrutinizing excavators and electric bicycles from the country. Workers in Chile have also complained about Chinese companies dumping their products and distorting their market. Due to cheap Chinese products, Brazil's chemical plants operate at only 64% capacity. And if they reduce production further, thousands of workers will lose their jobs. Union leaders are therefore asking the Brazilian government to impose higher tariffs and limit import quotas from China to save the country's manufacturers and workers.